People keep asking me about a video of my mobile radio setup, and I haven't done it yet because I keep changing it. Well, I realized the other day that I'm like, well, like your ham shack, it's probably going to be in a constant state of flux. So why not do a video now and then do an update to it later as time goes on, and then eventually one day I'll have six or eight videos to be able to look back at this one and see how much has changed since then. Let's go. All right, this is my Ford F-250. It's a 2004 model, crew cab, four-wheel drive, V10 gasoline motor. Now, in the Overland world, that is an old truck. Let me show you what an old truck actually looks like, okay? That is an old truck, okay? That is a 1978 F-150 long bed short cab with a 400 modified in it. And I plan to, I've been planning this for a while now, so hold me to it. Unlike building an antenna, I actually enjoy, I enjoy building antennas, but I enjoy working on auto mechanics more. I've been, this has been in the garage for five or six years at the time of this recording. I'm going to take it out this year and do the build, do the, the, the motor and transmission are, are, are restored, rebuilt. Uh, I'm going to do the body restore, the interior restore on another channel. So stay tuned for that. So let's do a walk around of the outside. Okay, so that is a Snowmaster fridge. It's currently about almost seven years old at the time of this recording. I've used it off and on for a while. Really like the Snowmaster products. It's not the only 12 volt fridge I have, but that one sits outside in my bed all the time and it constantly lives in the truck. I'll show you what it runs on here in a minute. Okay, it's a generator I carry with me. VP Racing Fuels fuel can, which I carry with me for a spare fuel. I'm working on some roto packs right now. I actually bought some Sea Sucker roto packs mounts, and you'll see that soon. Lifesaver, this is a really cool filtering system. It's got a big filter in it right here. And this is stuff that I carry in my truck all the time. It's got a really nice filter in it. You can see it's full of water. And what? Whoa, okay then. It's because of the angle it's sitting at, I think. Anyway, so this will, they claim that this is like a $250 jerry can. And it's for the its for the, the filter, it's not for the can itself. They claim you can take this and fill it up in a stream or a river or something, and it will clean out all the toxins, all the dirt, all the chemicals, and all the the bacteria, and I think, I believe viruses also. So it's uh, if, you're, if you're camping in an area that you are concerned about the water, that's a great option there. This is my current battery setup, okay? Which obviously is not permanent. If you saw my Gigaparts solar panel video, you saw part of this. So here is a rig runner from West Mountain Radio. It's the 40 amp version. And that's what the fridge in the back is running on. I've got currently four radios in the truck. All four of them are hooked up right now. So we're gonna look at the radios here in a minute. And it is running on this 200 amp hour Renji lithium iron phosphate battery. So. Obviously, I don't want to keep it here. I want to build a secondary battery box here. I actually have the box, and I just bought it. I got, I got it about a week ago at the time of this recording, so you're going to see more stuff on that upcoming. So this is a work in progress. This is the Renogy Wanderer Solar Charge Controller. You can get that on Amazon. This it contains blue. There's a Bluetooth module for th this. This is a Bluetooth module right here for this. This has Bluetooth built into it, so I can monitor both of them from my Renogy One monitoring station, which I have up front, and I'll show you in a minute. That's my new console that I have built. I, I'll talk about that in a second. Storage for antennas and uh, my EDC pack. Walk around the front of the truck. I just put these in yesterday. Brand new LED headlights. Look at that. I really like the look of this body style. This series was the first years of the Super Duty when Ford changed from their previous boxy model, which I really liked that one as well, to this body style it was uh 1999 was the first body style of this one and they stayed this body style until 2004 which is what this is 2005 they changed a little bit i've got these pod lights installed these crappy screws that came with them are supposed to be stainless steel obviously they are not so i'm going to actually replace these have only been installed for about six months i'm going to replace those soon really like the stickers on the back door window of course you guys will recognize some of these that's frank sticker poda uh, that's the More Expo where we went last week. Ham Radio Happy Hour. These are available. Well, these are available in a larger size on shop.hamradio2.com. Ham Radio Basics. That's Bill. That's Renogy. Came with my battery. Big Bend National Park. Texas GMRS Network. Midgard Adventure Supply. They're the ones who installed my roof rack. I'll talk about that in a second. Digi Rig and Galveston Brewing. Galveston Island Brewing. So here's my current setup of radios. I wanted to walk around and show you everything that I had that's powering the radios first. Okay, so I was mistaken. There's a, Well, no, there's four radios installed, but only three faces right now because I don't have the proper Lido mount for my new-to-me 
TS 480 HX that I picked up a few weeks ago. So this is obviously my FTM 300. I might replace that with the 500 upcoming. I don't have that in my hands yet, so we'll make that determination later. This is my ID 5100, and that is my Oshang KG 1000 G 50 watt GMRS radio. Right here used to be my IC 7000, but I took it out, and I'm replacing it with the TH 480 HX. Additionally, I'll be putting in the Anytone 58888UV3 tri-band radio. And the reason I'm using that radio, because I've already got two dual-band radios. I don't really need another VHF, UHF, but the Anytone radio is the only radio, the only mobile radio I can find that's 220 with a removable face. So I'm going to use it as 220 only, basically. This is a radio tree, for lack of a better term, that I built myself out of just that piping you get at Home Depot. I measured it, put it all together painted it i put like six or seven coats of, of paint on it and uh made it kind of all nice and neat it's plugged in right it's bolted into the to the thing right here again this is my custom center console that i got built by a place in grapevine called uh, dfw car stereo they do stuff like this the original one did not have any cup holders in the back so I had them put these put this cup holder in the back. It's got this slide thing there, okay? Got all this room down in here. I have no organization at all. And then, of course, it's got the cup holders right here. So they matched. This is the same color. This was not a special order. He had this in stock, this carpet that matches almost exactly the color of my original truck. So do some overlays here of the original one all right so this there used to be a console here and then i had my radios mounted over here they did a fantastic job i took the truck into him i said hey this is what i want he's like okay he took measurements he's like okay take your truck home i'll call you when i'm ready to with a prototype and it took him two or three weeks it wasn't fast but really happy with the job they did on that so now it doesn't look so bad this this will get repaired one day but it's bolted but the radio trees bolted into that side over there and then it's bolted into the floor obviously oh there's my face to my tx my uh, 480hx okay oh yeah it's, i got it plugged in but it's not mounted obviously so i got it bolted right there it's bolted into the floor over there behind the water bottle this is a ram mount that i used to use for my laptop or my my tablet really but i stopped using it but i didn't take the mount out yet i might do something with this later haven't decided but you can see it's bolted there and there. And then this arm right here, I'm going to put a Lido mount on with a small uh, riser post. And I'm going to put my R-Finder P10 10-inch tablet right here that's facing me in the driver's seat. And I'm probably going to run my Google Maps on that. I use Loom to kind of cover up all the, the wiring, kind of make it look semi-good. There's th that was a, I don't remember which wire that is, but that was a long wire. I think that's the ID5100, if I'm not mistaken. One of them had a very much longer wire than the, the, than the other one. So you just kind of do what you... Do what you can there. It's not the prettiest job, but it works. It's out of the way. It's tucked up. It's not going to get damaged that way. So I like it. Uh, the microphones are hanging there on the on the stereo. I'm I'm going to change all that. I have a plan for that that I think will work, but time will tell. I carry my LED lenser headlamp in the truck, which is USB rechargeable. This is a really good light. I met these guys at the More Expo in 2022. Uh, caught up with them again in 2023. <laughs> The guy who runs this company is a freaking ham. I, I was walking by his table and he said, hey man, I watch your show. Can you help me program my, program my ID52? And I said, sure. So we sat there and talked and he donated a bunch of stuff to the channel and I've used it a bunch and now I've got an affiliate program with him. So check the link in the, in the description below for an affiliate program to LED Lenser. It's a US based company. Those are made overseas. They're not US made in the USA, but the guy who runs it is a ham. So go support him. In the back seat, this is, <laughs> All right, nobody steal this, okay? It's probably going to change soon anyway. This is my FTDX10 in a Pelican case. This is one of those Pelican cases that that guy at Orlando Hamcation is out in the parking lot selling each year. I bought this like four years ago, and I've used it for various things, but for the last year or so, it's carried my FTDX10 with the power cable, the microphone, and a USB cable to, to interface with the computer if I want to. But that lives in the truck. I always have that in the truck. So I can stop somewhere, put up an antenna, up there if I want to and use that if I don't have my mobile radio going which I haven't had in the last month or I just take it out and put it on a table and that's what we use for parks on the air so this guy here I recently took out that was my original fold-out grate that was under the seat 
that you could fold out. It goes double double wide that way, and then it's got slats in it. You can tie stuff down to it. It's made for carrying heavy objects inside of the cab. I replaced it. It won't fold out all the way anymore because of this, because I added this. So I replaced it with this uh, seat back organizer from Duha. Duha.com, D-U-H-A.com. They're actually the ones who made the box. I'll be putting the battery stuff in later. So I bought that from Duha.com. I'm going to put a lot more POTA stuff down here. I've got some coax down here right now. I'm going to put some batteries in here. I've got my Mezzi and Plomy connectors that I made that I um, got from Buy Two Way Radios for my antenna over there, which I haven't shown you that yet either. That is that right there. Everything will be wired, but this is all temporary right here uh, because I was waiting to get the roof rack installed before I did any permanent antenna mounts. And the roof rack's been installed for four months at the time of this recording. And I keep going back and the, the they make antenna mounts for that roof rack, but they're expensive. I've got one, I need like four more. So, and they're expensive, so I haven't bought those yet. Speaking of Mezzi and Palomi coax, they are sponsoring this video. This video is made possible by MNP Coax. You can save a 5% discount at the Gigaparts website with the coupon code of KC5HWB on everything Mezzi and Plumi. Compression mounts. This is a right angle compression mount that I'm going to use for my Tar Heel antenna in the back. These compression mounts are awesome. They make some really, really good compression mounts. They make some airborne coax. The reason it's called airborne is because it's lightweight. They designed it to be taken on a plane, packed in your backpack and taken on a plane, not very heavy, that kind of thing. And that's primarily what I'm going to use in this install. So you'll be seeing more videos about that. But thank you, Mezzi and Plomi, for supporting this channel. Check out the link in the description below. All right, so this is my current radio setup. This is where my FTM 300 goes. I took it out. I'm actually doing some updates on it right now. That's my 5100, that's the Oshang GMRS radio, and this is my 480HX. The 480HX has two power cables. Two power cables that um, you have to use both at the same time because it's a 200 watt version of the radio. It also has two antenna ports, which is really cool. I thought one of them was for six meters and one of them was for HF, but the guy I got it from said, no, they're both full six meter HF antenna ports. So you can put up like a beam and a vertical or a vertical and a, and a Yagi or something like that. Two different antennas. I might put up a ham stick on, on one of them and use my Tar Heel on the other one, something like that. Maybe not real applicable for a mobile install, but hey, it's there and I'll probably use it for the heck of it. Right here is where my Anytone radio is going to go as soon as I get it mounted. So that is the current setup of the radios in my truck. And again, all of this is a work in progress. The, the radios, this is this is going to be when they're, they're permanently staying, obviously. I'm going to do some updates back here behind the seat. I'm going to beef up the rig runner. I'm going to move the batteries to the back. And I'm going to add um, the 220 option right there. I'd like to know what you guys think about this. Put a comment in the description below. And stay tuned for the next video because this will not be the last mobile installation video that I make.